Abraham and Sarah finally had a son, and they named him Isaac. Well, Isaac had a son named Jacob, and Jacob had 12 sons. The next to youngest son of Jacob was Joseph. Joseph was Jacob's favorite son. Jacob loved Joseph more than any of his other children, so much that he gave him a special coat with long sleeves. But when Joseph's brothers saw that Jacob loved him way better than any of them, they hated him and they were mean to him. One night, Joseph had a dream. In his dream, he and his brothers were in a field gathering corn. Suddenly, Joseph's corn stalk rose up very tall, and all of his brothers' shorter stalks gathered around it and bowed to it. I wonder what this dream meant. Joseph told his brothers his dream, and they hated him even more. They wondered if it meant that Joseph would rule over them. One day, Joseph's brothers went to pasture the sheep near Sechem. When they had been gone for a few days, Jacob sent Joseph to see how they were doing. Joseph's brothers saw him coming in the distance, and while he was still far away, they said to each other, Here comes that dreamer. Let's kill him and throw him into that empty pit over there. Then we'll see what becomes of his big dreams. But Reuben, the oldest, said, We can't kill him. He's our brother. Just throw him into the pit and leave him. So when Joseph came to them, they grabbed him and dumped him into the pit. Then they sat down to eat lunch. While they were eating lunch, a caravan of traders came by. Judah, the next oldest, said, I have a better idea than just leaving him there in the pit. Let's sell him to those traders as a slave and get some money. So they did. Then his brothers went to their father and said, Joseph has been eaten by a wild animal. Jacob cried for his son and was sad for months and months. Meanwhile, the traders took Joseph to Egypt and sold him as a slave. He had to get up when his master said he had to eat what his master gave him. He had to do what his master said. He had to go where his master told him he was a slave. He could not go home. But Joseph was not alone. Even though he was a slave for a long time, God was still with him. One night, Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, dreamed a strange dream. He knew it meant something, but no one could tell him what it meant. I have asked everyone, and no one can tell me what this dream means. Can you? Then one of his servants told him about a young Hebrew slave who dreamed dreams. Maybe Joseph could tell the king what this dream meant. Pharaoh had Joseph brought to him and told him his dream. He dreamed that there were seven fat cows and seven skinny cows. Then the skinny cows ate the fat ones, Pharaoh said. I wonder if you know what this dream meant. Joseph knew. In these dreams, God has shown you what is going to happen. The seven fat cows are seven good years. The seven skinny cows are seven bad years. God is telling you there will be seven good years when everyone will have enough to eat. There will be seven bad years when the food won't grow. People will be very hungry, and some will starve to death. God has shown you this so that you know to save up food during the good years. That way people will have something to eat during the bad years. Pharaoh was very impressed. He gave Joseph riches and fine clothes and made him his second in command. He put Joseph in charge of gathering and saving the food during the good years so that they would be ready for the bad years. Joseph did a good job and Pharaoh gave him everything he asked for. There was no one more powerful than Joseph in all of Egypt except Pharaoh himself. After the seven good years, the seven bad years came just as Joseph said they would. Then Joseph opened all the storehouses and there was enough food saved up to feed everyone in Egypt. No one went hungry and there was even some food left to sell to hungry people from other places outside Egypt. Some of those people were Joseph's own brothers. The famine was terrible in the land of Canaan, and Jacob and his family were very hungry. So Jacob sent his sons to Egypt to buy grain. When the brothers got to Egypt to buy food, the Egyptians sent them to Joseph. Then Joseph's brothers came and bowed down to him and begged him to sell them some food. They did not recognize Joseph, but Joseph knew who they were, and he remembered his dream. They had all bowed down to him after all. Joseph sent all his servants out of the room because he could barely keep from crying. He said to his brothers, I am Joseph. How is my father? His brothers were terrified. They could not answer. Now was Joseph's chance to do to them what they had done to him so many years ago. 
But Joseph said, Come, come closer. I am your brother Joseph, the one you sold into slavery. Don't be afraid. You meant to do something evil to me, but God did something good instead. Then he hugged them, and they all cried. When Pharaoh heard that Joseph's brothers had come, he told Joseph, Tell your brothers to go home and get your father, and bring your whole family here to Egypt to live. So Jacob and all his family came to Egypt to live, and Joseph got to see his father again. They were all very happy for a very, very long time.